a while ago I bought this antique doll. Um, she was in pretty bad condition. The, her hair was a total mess. Her clothing were not in the best shape. Her head was falling off. But all in all she had a pretty cute face even if it is a little wonky. Her eyes is not looking in the same direction but I felt like adopting her. She has a celluloid head, probably on a cloth body. Uh, some of it is original, I think it looks to be, but uh, uh, other things is not. The shoes is original and the uh, undergarments, but the dress is probably not. She has a mark on the back of her head saying in Germany and Schutzmarke. Uh, which means trademark as far as I know, and a turtle inside a diamond and the number 10 underneath. I did some research and this uh, turtle mark comes from a doll factory in Germany called Schildkröt as far as I know. Um, and what is interesting is that this company used to mark uh, a number under uh, their trademark, uh, which was the year of production of the doll, which means that this doll is possibly from 1910. She's actually turning 110 years, if this information is correct. I have also seen some dolls from this company who uh, has uh, two marks, two numbers. So I wonder if this could also be like a production number, a model number. I'm not sure, but she's old anyway. This company has been in business since 1873 and I think they are still going. Her hair was extremely tangled, so I started by gently brushing it out. I know this, what I'm doing might decrease the value of the doll. Uh, you know, maybe because she's losing a bit of hair. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, this, it can't get worse. And she's pretty ugly, so, and now she's mine, and I want her to have slightly better hair than she does. So I'm just going to super super gently get out the tangles. I wonder if her hair is made from mohair or not. Try to start like from the bottom of the wig and working my way up because if you just try to tug, tug things out from the top it's not gonna work. Definitely going to lose some hair by me doing this, but the rest will look better. So, uh, what's left will probably be enough to make it uh, look presentable, which it isn't exactly these days. I guess that's why she got this um, poor girl's outfit, you know, with the super tangly hair. So hair is the result of uh, brushing her. Uh, I did lose quite a lot of hair, but uh, since it was already pretty scarce in the back here, and um, yeah, it was you know it was so tangled. Um, I think it was worth losing a little bit of hair. 
um, to make her look like this. Uh, but I definitely am not going to brush her anymore. Now I got the tangles out and this hair is not really good for brushing. So I'm just going to leave it and uh, do as little as possible about it. The next thing I did was cleaning her with some cotton pads. I had one that was slightly moist and I just gently started rubbing her face. To get into the small areas of her face I used a Q-tip and that was moist instead of a cotton pad. undressed her and uh, she has uh, an old dress which is not very well made uh, I don't think this is original somebody made it for her later maybe a child or somebody who owned her I imagine all girls she would um, a long time ago and she had some underwear and socks and a flat body I'm going to wash uh, the underwear and her socks I will put them on a gentle cycle in the washing machine. I made her a new dress. This is all I want to do for the doll at the moment. I think I might come back to her later, but I want to improve my skills in restoring dolls first. I hope you liked this video anyway. Have a nice day and see you next time!